I'm gonna try out this uh, mashed potato tool. Uh, it could also be used on meat uh, and everything. So just kind of look at, you know, how it's like a pinwheel, the way it's made. Where typical mashed potato, you know, mashers are these big metal things. It's got a nice handle on it. So I haven't put any butter in this yet. This literally just came out. You can probably see the steam um, coming off of it. And oh, look at that! Like, whoosh. you see how what it's doing? It's like the mashed potato, the potatoes are going in between all of those and it's like cutting it up and I'm not putting, like I'm, I'm holding it with like two fingers. That is super simple. And you know, I'm in the South. We like a lot of, we like some uh, mashed potatoes with our butter. So I'm gonna put a stick of butter in here and let that start to melt while I mash it uh, because that does make things a little easier on the mashed potatoes. Yeah, let's just, let's get this done. And what's cool about it, look how it's globbed on there, but it'll bang off relatively easy. Or, you know, I could use a, a spoon to, to get those things off. But um, you're going to get in whatever consistency you want. If you like your mashed potatoes chunky, you could stop right here. If you like a little more creamy. But, uh, yeah, this is simple. I could even twist. I could use this to stir. Ah, works really well. And... Take it one step further, because again, we in the South, we like some good old Miracle Whip in our mashed potatoes. Yes, I said Miracle Whip. We are mixed up and done. I'll just need to rinse this off, but this worked really, really well uh, to mash my potatoes. Simple, easy. I don't have to worry about um, scuffing the pan with a big metal uh, masher. This one made it so much easier here uh, from Farberware. Now I gotta eat some of it.